Chapter 8 After this, David subdued and humbled the Philistines by conquering Gath, their largest city. David also conquered the land of Moab. He made the people lie down on the ground in a row, and he measured them off in groups with a length of rope. He measured off two groups to be executed for every one group to be spared. The Moabites who were spared became David's servants and brought him tribute money. David also destroyed the forces of Hadadezer, son of Rehob, king of Zobah, when Hadadezer marched out to strengthen his control along the Euphrates River. David captured 1,700 charioteers and 20,000 foot soldiers. Then he crippled all but 100 of the chariot horses. When Arameans from Damascus arrived to help Hadadezer, David killed 22,000 of them. Then he placed several army garrisons in Damascus, the Aramean capital, and the Arameans became David's subjects and brought him tribute money. So the Lord gave David victory wherever he went. David brought the gold shields of Hadadezer's officers to Jerusalem, along with a large amount of bronze from Hadadezer's cities of Teba and Birothai. When King Toy of Hamath heard that David had destroyed the army of Hadadezer, he sent his son Joram to congratulate David on his success. Hadadezer and Toy had long been enemies, and there had been many wars between them. Joram presented David with many gifts of silver, gold, and bronze. King David dedicated all these gifts to the Lord, along with the silver and gold he had set apart from the other nations he had subdued, Edom, Moab, Ammon, Philistia, and Amalek, and from Hadadezer, son of Rehob, king of Zobah. So David became very famous. After his return, he destroyed 18,000 Edomites in the Valley of Salt. He placed army garrisons throughout Edom, and all the Edomites became David's subjects. This was another example of how the Lord made David victorious wherever he went. David reigned over all Israel and was fair to everyone. Joab, son of Zeruiah, was commander of the army. Jehoshaphat, son of Ahilud, was the royal historian. Zadok, son of Ahitub, and Ahimelech, son of Abiathar, were the priests. Seraiah was the court secretary. Benaiah, son of Jehoiada, was captain of the king's bodyguard. David's sons served as priestly leaders.